synchronizing your on-premise Active Directory users with Identity as a Service. From the Getting Started wizard, select Sync Users. To define the connection to your AWS directory, select the plus to add a directory. From the list, select On-Premise Directory. Complete the connection settings, select a meaningful name, and identify the username and password from the on-premise directory of an account that will log in to the directory on behalf of IDAS. This username and password would have been set up already in your on-premise directory with privilege to enable the synchronization between IDAS and the directory. Select Add to add a new directory server. Enter the host IP of the directory server and identify the port and the SSL requirements. In the search base, enter the root domain name in context and the search base for the users. This provides a pointer into the directory where the users will reside that will be synchronized. The group filter allows you to identify the groups that will be synchronized. By default, all users are synchronized unless you specifically add a group here. In the synchronization section, select the arrow to select the gateway that's already set up. The information from the gateway will be populated. The details from the directory used for the synchronization will be presented. You can also adjust the desynchronization behavior. In the attribute mappings, the fields of the directory are mapped to the fields of IDAS. Ensure the mandatory, those with an asterisk, are accurate. The directory is added. The directory definition will be listed. Any users not in IDAS from the OU equals IDAS of your on-premise directory will be imported. To view the details of the sync, click the Sync Details icon. The details of the most recent sync and directory scan will be presented along with the upload results. Returning to the dashboard, the number of users will now reflect the imported users and the Sync Users icon will be completed if you are using the wizard. We will now have a directory defined. To view the imported users, click on Users. The list of users that were imported will show a source of directory. Please see our library of support content or contact our world-class support team any time of the day, no matter where you are, for more immediate assistance.